Welcome to Euro Bangla City SATV News. This is Shibala Alam with our headlines. Stressing the importance of good governments, Prime Minister asked government officials to devote themselves serving people for better society. Cox's Bazaar Court granted three days' remand of three more suspects over the murder case of Rohingya leader Muhibullah. Bengali Hindus are celebrating Mahalaya today, the auspicious occasion that heralds the advent of Goddess Durga. Now the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina today stressed the importance of good governance and asked the government officials to devote themselves to serving government to make the society a better place. The Prime Minister was addressing the certificate giving and closing ceremony of the 119 and 120th Law and Administration Training Courses at Bangladesh Civil Service Administration Academy through a video conference from her official residence, Ghana Bhabon. The director of the public servants to take innovative initiative to serve people as the government has prepared a perspective plan and is implementing it. Hasina said it is the desire of all that there will be a service-oriented administration in the country which will innovate new services to serve people. The Cox's Bazaar Court on Wednesday placed three people on a three-day remand each in the case filed over the murder of Rohingya leader Mohibullah at the refugee camp in Okea. Teknaf Senior Judicial Magistrate Court Judge Taman Nafara passed the order after police produced them before it's seeking a seven-day remand at 11 a.m. The remanded accused are Abdus Salam, Zia Rahman and Ilyas. Earlier on Sunday, two more accused Selim and Shakhawat Ullah were placed on three-day remand. Police arrested the accused people from different camps in Okia after the murder. Unknown assailants gunned down Mohib on Wednesday night on September 29. Meantime, a Dhaka court on Wednesday placed Nusrat Shahreen Raka, sister of controversial expatriate journalist Konak Sharwar, on a five-day remand in two cases filed under Digital Security and Narcotics Control Act. Dhaka Chief Metropolitan Magistrate passed the order after police produced her before the court with 14-day remand prayer. Raka, 38, wife of Nasiruddin Mojunda, was arrested for spreading anti-state propaganda during a drive of RAB1 conducted in the city's Uttara area in early Tuesday. RAB member seized a mobile phone set with anti-state contents, a passport and some ice or crystal meth from her possession during the arrest. During primary integration of RAB, Raka confirmed that she is an active member of the group that is involved in spreading anti-state propaganda, sources said. A Dhaka court asked Police Bureau of Investigation, PBI, to submit the inquiry report in a case filed against Boshundhara Managing Director Sam Subhan Anvir and seven others in connection with the rape and murder of a college student, Mosara Jahan Munia, by November 22nd. Dhaka Magistrate Metropolitan President Nivana Khal Jesse passed the order today after investigation officer Golam Mukhtar Ashrafuddin, also an inspector of PBI, failed to submit the report of the case according to media reports. After the body of the 21-year-old college student was recovered in the Gulshan flat on April 26, her elder sister Nusra Jahan filed a suicide abandonment case against Anvir with the Gulshan police station. Hindus across Bangladesh are celebrating Mahalaya today, the auspicious occasion that heralds the advent of Goddess Durga on Wednesday. Considered as a ceremonial invocation of Goddess Durga, Mahalaya is observed as a week prior to Durga Puja, the largest religious festival of the Hindu community. Hindus believe that the earth prepares itself to welcome and the coming of the goddess and her children through the celebration. Durga Puja will begin on October 11 on the day of the Mahashoshti. On Mahalaya, the Mahanagar Sharbajanin Puja Committee has arranged special programs at the Kishwari Temple. On this day, Hindus remember and pay homage to their deceased ancestor by performing a puja and offering Brahmins clothes, food and sweets in their name. Viewers are taking a short break. Please stay with Euro Bangla City SATV News. Welcome back. You're watching Euro Bangla City SATV News. Now, international story updates. 
U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen is again warning that the recession is unavoidable if Congress fails to address the U.S. debt ceiling. Yellen also warned that the failure of lawmakers to act would be catastrophic. She said October 18 is the deadline, stressing that it is essential the ceiling be raised before then, saying U.S. Treasury Secretaries have long been regarded as the safest financial asset on earth. She insisted that putting that in question could result in a catastrophic outcome. President Biden has also called on lawmakers to raise the debt limit in order to avoid the country's first ever default. Currently, the Treasury Department is using so-called emergency extraordinary measures to pay down the country's receipt since reaching the last debt ceiling at the end of July. Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden said that both the Chinese and President Xi Jinping have agreed to abide by the Taiwan Agreement. He appears to be referring to the One China policy, which officially recognizes China's sovereignty over Taiwan. But Washington's stance to establish diplomatic ties with Beijing instead of Taipei comes with the expectation that the future of Taiwan will be determined by peaceful means. Biden also appears to be referring to a 90-minute call he held with the Chinese president last month, their first talks in seven months. Biden's remark come amid rising tensions between China and Taiwan. The UN World Meteorological Organization has warned that more than 5 billion people have become inadequate access to water by 2050. If latest report says the figure in increase from 3.6 billion in 2018, the organization adds changes to global and regional precipitation due to rising temperature plays, food security as well as human health at the increased risk. Over the past two decades, flood-related disaster increased by 134 percent, with droughts increased by 20 percent. A story from the sports world. Over in China with the Beijing Winter Olympic Games taking place next February, the final round of 15 testing events and activities to test COVID-19 prevention measures began on Tuesday. For the next three months until December 31st, test events will be held in eight ice and snow competition venues in Beijing and Zhengzhou. It is estimated that 2,000 international athletes, sport experts and IOC officials will be hand over for the official. Officials said that there are three major measures that is needed to be in place. These include strengthened remote prevention and control by encouraging overseas personnel to complete the vaccination process and COVID-19 testing before arrival. And finally, all participants are to wear masks and strictly implement prevention and control requirements. Finally beating Tom Cruise in the race to become the first actor to shoot a movie in space, a Russian actress and a film director arrived at the International Space Station on Tuesday as the Soyuz MS-19 spacecraft docked at the ISS. Yola Paris Field, who will be hold in the honor of the becoming the first actor to film in the space, could not hold back her excitement, saying she still feels like she is dreaming. The two reached the ISS ahead of the crews, who plans to blast off the SpaceX rocket for the Hollywood film that was announced last year by NASA. Parasilt with Chick Picanco will spend the next 12 days on the space station filming parts of the film The Challenge. In the film, the Russian actress plays a doctor who is asked to travel to the space station to save this cosmonaut life. Before ending, we go to the Euro Bangla City SATV news headline again. Stressing the importance of good governance, Prime Minister asked the government officials to devote themselves serving people for better society. Cox's Bazaar Court granted three-day remand of three more suspects over the murder case of Rohingya leader Mohibullah. Bengali Hindus are celebrating Mahalaya today, the auspicious occasion that heralds the advent of Goddess Durga. You're up to date so far here on Euro Bangla City SATV News and to know the latest news visit www.satv.tv. Stay with SATV.